I got another stuck seat post that needs getting out, so I'm gonna use Mildred, the Bridgeport knee mill to do it. Um, problem is, in order to use this fixture, I need to extend the ram way out here over the corner of the table because I can't exactly put a bicycle frame up on top of the table, so let's hang over the side and straddle around all this extra stuff. Uh, this is kind of cozy. This is about as far as this can reach. The bigger problem is when I move this, I lose the exact angle that it was set at since it's not a dovetail style ram. I've devised a sneaky way that might help me set this more accurately. Um, I put a laser diode on here. This one happens to generate a line uh, rather than a point, but that's okay. I've got it set roughly level, and I've already changed the angle of the turret and locked it back down roughly where I need it to be. And I set this pointing at a sharpie dot on the wall all the way across the room, which you can hopefully see under that board over there. I'll put my hand in front of the beam a few times. But there's a dot on the wall way over there, probably... 15 to 18 feet away and I'm going to tweak the angle of this now that I've extended the, the ram all the way out until that dot lines back up again and I'm hopefully really close to being in tram again since as you can see I don't exactly have an easy way to indicate tram on this either other than sweeping an indicator around the seat post. Here's, we'll see how it goes. Just to show you exactly how this works, um, these two big bolts or nuts sticking out the top are the clamping bolts that squeeze down here and pinch this round ram in place. There is a round gear with a keyway in the bottom that engages the slot on the bottom of the ram and turning this crank actually rotates a worm gear inside here that pulls on that thing and rotates the whole ram around in kind of a halfway controlled fashion. Otherwise it's really top heavy. You can imagine if you got the tiny spit off this would flop over and crash into you. So as I turn this crank here you can see across the shop my line moves up and down. The last tricky part is that as I clamp, especially this rearmost nut down to squeeze it in place, um, it actually lifts the front of the head, the front of the ram up a little bit because I've got a lot of weight cantilever way out here. So I've got this set just about as tight as I dare where I can still move the crank without feeling like I'm going to damage something. Got it dialed in pretty close and I use the, the blink indicator to prove that I'm actually lined up all the way up and down the bore. So if I run the machine nice and slow. This twirls around, goes to a rocker arm under here that indicates deflection. It's kind of dimensionless, and the longer the indicator rod you use, the less advantage you get. So um, um, a bigger actual arrow will still show as a fairly small deflection on the needle. But if I run the quill down, you'll see that I'm within, I'd say within one unit there. And then back up near the top. It starts to get a little bit wiggly once I get out of the clamp. But um, even as soon as I get down inside there a little bit. And I checked. Um, about three of these graduations seems to be less than ten thousandths of an inch. So I kind of split the difference from the top to the bottom since I don't have any way to fine tune the angle of this frame clamped in this fixture. But I feel like I'm very close. And by the time I'm at risk of punching through one wall while I'm still in thick material on the other side, I'll probably know it, hear it, um, and be ready to actually rip out the thin remaining foil at that point. So I'm going to call this good enough.